Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Danny, and this is Danielle's Essentials. And we are here to unbox the Ipsy. Now this is the Ipsy, I believe they call it Glam Plus. And ooh, <laughs> ooh. excuse me. Um, this is the Ipsy Glam Plus and we're unboxing it. I did open it up and take the booklet out and it's gonna talk about everything that's in it, but let's get into what's in it. So I believe, I wanna say this is 25 a month, but I'll leave those details down below. And I wanna make sure that I'm focused. Yep, okay. Now, everything in here is full size, and then the inside of the box says, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you. And then that's kind of what everything looks like. I'm gonna scoot it to the side for a second. And the first thing we have here is the chlorine. What is it? Oh, dry shampoo with oat milk. So it is a dry shampoo. I'm not gonna spray it only because I have a lot and I might just give that to a friend. Up next. We have, and hopefully my lighting is good, but 111 Skin. This is a vitamin C brightening booster. And I'm sorry if I'm a little rusty as I try to get back into YouTube, but, oh, that's a big bottle. I, I was expecting it to be like half the size. But that's what it looks like. You know what, I'm gonna scoot you guys slightly over so that I have a little bit of a better lighting. That's what it looks like. Let's open it. And the dropper, it's clear. Just drop a little teeny tiny drop because I don't want to waste it. That's what it looks like. It's not, it's not oily. It's sticky though. Like you can't tell, but it is, it's sticky. Let's put it back in the box. And let's put that on that side. And then up next, what is this? Wow, Estee Lauder. See, my lighting is not the best right here. Let's open this and see what color it is. It's an Envy. Number 270. Um, I never had luck opening packages, so give me a moment. There we go. And let's see, what color are you? Oh, look at the packaging. Isn't it just beautiful? It says Estee Lauder on top. And there is the color. It is not a color I'm gonna wear so I'm not gonna swatch it oh I like that look you put it right there and it, it's magnetic ain't that fancy all right we'll put that there and then up next we have a my new setup my bright lights are behind me so they're not helping me any so I definitely need to move them so I apologize there we go Smith and Colt book of eyes it is an eye quad palette in soft shock shock and I always suck at opening packages although this one looks like it's been open if you look at the things at the bottom like somebody's opened it I almost dropped it. Oh, there we go. And then, ooh, check out that fancy packaging. See that? And it's got a nice big mirror right there. And then it has a little plastic cover. And then those are the colors. Those are beautiful. Those are really beautiful. Let's swatch them because this is something I'm going to keep. Ooh, 
Look at that. That is definitely bright. Or, oh my gosh, pigmented. I can't think of a word. I'm trying to figure out what finger to use next. There's that one. And then, ooh, this silver looks beautiful. Look at that. Those are beautiful. Very beautiful. Let's put the plastic. Oh, and it comes with one of those freaking doohickeys. Let's close that up. And we'll put that right over here. Oh, there is a bag this month. So this is what the bag looks like. So one of those flips. So you can make it silver or you can make it part silver, whatever you feel like. But that's beautiful. That looks like a big a bigger bag. Like it looks like a decent size. There we go. It is a decent size. As we can tell, I can't even get it all in the frame. But there that's what it looks like. Very pretty bag. Put that right there. And then the last thing we have in here are there are brushes. So there are a set of brushes, three brushes in here. Let's open them up. These kind of look like the wet and wild ones. What did I do with those? Oh, they're way over there in the corner. So this is gonna be an angled brush. And I'll show you, um, I'll compare it to the wet and wild ones, but the wet and wild does not have an angled brush. But to give you an idea, so this one's the wet and wild and it has the indent. It is a different color and it's slightly different down here, but they kind of got a similar look. They're not exactly the same, obviously, but a similar look. Let's do this one. This is a big fluffy, and I'm gonna say this is probably gonna be, oh, sorry, didn't mean to move you there. See? I like the sleek look of the packaging on both of these, but these are the ones we got. So let me put this these wet wild ones away, and then let's look at the last one. And this looks like a stippling brush. See the how the black hairs go to here and then the white ones are a bit longer. So it's like a stippling brush. I just noticed they do have numbers on them. Um, you probably can't see it. There we go. Uh, 40F for the stippling one, 50F for like the blush brush one, and then the angled brush is a 30F. But those are very beautiful. Add them to my ever-growing collection of brushes that need to be cleaned <laughs> but that's what those look like um now let's get into how much all of this cost i'm now gonna scoot you out so you can kind of see everything so the skin oil is a value of 180 dollars that is expensive the three brushes have a value of 40 dollars the um, eyeshadow quad is $44. The Estee Lauder is $32. And then the dry shampoo is $20. So definitely a very high value in this bag, in this box. Um, so overall, I like it. I don't need any more dry shampoo, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I hate that I got another one. Um, a girl, I already have like 90 lipsticks. Um, this isn't a color for me, but I'll probably hand that off to a co-worker. 
and then the skin vitamin I don't have a skincare regimen I know I'm in my 40s and I don't have one and I know people do them from teenage years all the way up and into their 60s 70s 80s I just never had one I never had a big acne problem either um, but I don't worry about fine lines or anything um, I'm okay with them so I don't have a regimen I do have a lot of skincare products that I've gotten um, in some of these boxes that I really want to get into using them but as far as right now I don't have anything going so um, hopefully with this new year I'll get in the game and start doing a regimen um, it is winter so my skin is just a tad bit dry at times but other than that no complaints I mean I've got like some redness and some dark spots but um, they don't bother me <laughs> not not at this time I mean if I'm in my 40s and they don't bother me I don't think they're gonna bother me in my 50s or 60s either um, that's what makeup is for it just hides all that unevenness with my foundation and if you didn't know I wear the Estee Lauder double wear and I am in shell beige shell beige now that I have this out I have the pump here and I keep misplacing the pump when I find my foundation so since we're on camera let's go ahead and just put the pump on um, as far as getting back into the routine of doing videos yes I am trying um, I like I said in my last video I don't have I don't get as many boxes right now there we go got the pump in um, but as we go into the new year I do want to get back into my boxes and ah, I just knocked everything down back into my boxes and um, start resubscribing to everything so that we can get back into videos and hopefully the next video I do is going to be a Tupperware video so you know not everybody here is interested in seeing about that stuff but that is going to be a next video but thank you for joining me I am happy to be back and get my mind off things and get back into the groove of talking to you guys so thank you for joining me. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video. If there's any other video ideas you want to tell me, leave those comments below or get me on social media at Danielle's Essentials. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll be more than happy to do any, any other kind of videos if you wanna see me do my makeup routine or if you wanna see what my collection looks like. I can do either one of those. Um, or possibly anything else that you guys are interested in seeing. Uh, that's it. Thank you for joining me. You have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.